Amadine is a deceptively simple, competent and very modern vector design application. At the same time, it's not as widely known as the big three. Adobe Illustrator, Affinity Designer and Corel Draw. It may not be as feature rich as them, but Amadine has a few surprises packed in. My review will be based on a desktop version. Now let's take a peek at what's under the hood. When it comes to Amadine's UI, one word sums it up, minimal. Everything is laid out in the most basic way. And that's not a bad thing. Amadine makes it super easy to just pop it open and start working. One of the main contributors to its minimalist look is that Amadine isn't as populated with UI elements as other packages like Adobe Illustrator. Amadine doesn't allow the docking of panels, but we can choose between two modes, attach or detach panels. In the attach mode, everything is static, and in the detach mode, everything is floating, so you can move panels around freely. I also thought that Amadine's implementation of its contextual menu was pretty decent. It's not as intrusive as Illustrator's Properties panel, but at the same time, it's not as robust as Illustrator's Properties panel. While it's not brimming to the rim with tools and features, Amadine packs in the essentials in some nifty additions. They have all the usual suspects. Selection tools, pen, draw, knife, text, shape, eraser tools, and more. But most importantly, it comes with a fusion tool. What's a fusion tool, you ask? If you're familiar with Adobe Illustrator's Shape Builder tool, then this is more or less that. Although in my opinion, it works a pinch better. My only qualm with it is that it doesn't come with a shortcut, and I couldn't figure out how to assign one to it. We also get some amazing effects via the appearance panel. We can do inner glow, shadow, blur, etc. What's interesting about this is being able to use an image as a fill, then use it as a texture without ever jumping in the layers panel. The way the appearance panel is implemented definitely gives you some creative ways to layer effects. There's also a charming recolor tool packed in here that works super well. Amadine's pricing is good. For what this package is, I think they definitely set a pricing structure that reflects what is being offered. For a single user license, you would pay $29.99 Canadian dollars, iPad or iPhone $9.99 Canadian dollars, and for one license to rule them all $49.99 Canadian dollars. You may have noticed that I compared Amadine to Adobe Illustrator a lot in this video. The reason for that is when I popped it open, my first impression was, wow, this seems super familiar. It feels like a more streamlined version of Illustrator, huh? But when I delved more into Amadine, I could see the deviation and where they really branched out and tried to make something user-friendly, unique while still familiar, functional and fun. Would this replace my main vector design app? I think right now, no. But I had loads of fun using Amadine, and I plan to continue using it. Amadine is filled with potential, and maybe sometime in the future, it does replace it. Should you buy Amadine? Amadine is not for everyone. While its minimalist design is great, it comes at the cost of some tools and features. Overall, I think if you're looking for something lightweight, super easy to pick up and get started designing, has some really awesome tools and is cost effective, then I think you should give it a try. The company offers a free trial and they have a great collection of tutorials to get started. Thanks for watching. Please check if those like and subscribe buttons still work by gently giving them a little click.